Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Thunder Ducky. This is going to be a different kind of video. I keep saying that for these because it is completely different from what I had intended this channel to be, which was purely a gaming channel. The topic, however, for this one, unlike the Jimmy Fallon one, is related to gaming. And it is one that surprised the hell out of me. So, we're going to go ahead and hop into an article from Gaming Bible. I have it on my phone, so I'm going to be reading it off my phone. But apparently, Certain Affinity has their hands on a Halo game. And this was published the 26th of November. So as of the recording of this was three days ago. <clears> Hold <throat> on, had a hiccup there. My apologies. And it's written by Sam Colley. Hope I pronounced that right. Another Halo game was reportedly in the works, so 343 Industries won't be at the helm this time. Halo is unfortunately a shell of its former self, with the most recent entry, Halo Infinite, still on the mend from its rocky launch. It's added some great stuff following several seasons of content, with fans going as far as to say it's the best state it's ever been in, which is not saying much, but for many the damage has already been done. That being said, many are still hopeful the Xbox exclusive franchise could make a comeback and that it deserves another chance at greatness. Many believe the only way this can be done as or is if it's handed over to another studio besides 343 Industries and an upcoming game seems to be doing just that. Now 343 hasn't done a horrible job. Uh, out of their trilogy though, 4 is definitely the best. 5 was okay and Halo Infinite after recently just playing through it again, horrible. Speaking in a recent interview, the CEO of Certain Entertain or Certain Affinity, Max Hoberman, Confirmed it has several projects currently in the works, including one in collaboration with 343 Industries, suggesting it could be leading its own Halo game. So, <clears throat> I guess it's just a rumor as to this point. Um, I wonder if they give a list as far as uh, what Certain Infinity has done. While they didn't elaborate further, it sounds like another spin-off is on the way similar to Halo Reach or Halo Wars, though we likely won't see it for a few years as it's still in early development. It's usually how, uh, you know, Halo games go. And, uh, and then this next little paragraph, they misspelled skeptical. Uh, you, you need the K. Fans were skeptical upon hearing the news and didn't want to get themselves hyped up in case it turned out to be another disappointing release in the series. One fan said they'll only care when I see it, agreed. Whereas another mourned the proposed 10-year plan for Halo Infinite to be the Halo game, or be the only Halo game supported for the time being. But with how it turned out, you, I don't want it to be the only Halo game for the next 10 years. They didn't do enough for it. The environment sucked. Uh, combat was whatever. No, we need, we need something else. Others started making their wish list for what they hoped the new game would be, with one fan saying they wish it to be Halo Wars 3 going on to say, I want more Halo RTS goodness. Another hoped it would be a similar spin-off to Halo 3 ODST with flashback missions versus Insurrectionist rather than the Covenant or the Banished. I would like to see an Insurrectionist-style insurrection game. My ideal game would be a Halo that's designed, and I'm going to piss off some people here, but I would like a Halo designed like Gears of War, you know, the cover base, and make it about the Colonial Marines. Have Spartans show up every now and then, you know, ODSTs, but make it uh, Colonial Marines-centric, and I, I think it could work. <clears throat> Whatever it is, and whenever it launches, hopefully it's the return to form ser the series needs to shake off the looming negativity surrounding its recent releases. And uh, I thought it was weird, so Sam also came out and reported, which is true, that Halo Infinite is Xbox's most played game, marking an unexpected comeback. Not enough to save it, though. Not enough to save it. So actually, I'm gonna look up. Let me look up certain infinity. What have, what have they? Uh, what have they uh, looked on? What have they worked on? Certain affinity games. Oh, they got Halo Four listed. The Master Chief Collection. Left for Dead, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo Reach, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered from 2016. So we got some stuff that could work, that could turn this tide. Um, if the developer, Certain Infinity, actually, you know, actually do a decent job. So hopeful, hopefully optimistic, but not, uh, not uh, over the moon as of yet. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Are you looking forward to it, and what kind of Halo game are you looking forward to? Do you want the next Halo Wars? Do you want a Halo Reach or Halo uh, ODST kind of spinoff? Maybe even number two for ODST? <coughs> Maybe about Buck before he becomes a Spartan? Or do you want something that seems kind of outlandish, like my idea for a Halo-themed, like, Gears of War game? And as you can see below me, ladies and gentlemen, as of the recording of this video, we're currently at 360 subs, and I'm trying to get to 500 by the end of the year. If you'll do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and if you don't want to, maybe share this video out with a buddy, as they might uh, find it entertaining, or they might consider subscribing. Anything you guys do, whether you watch for a minute the whole video, sub or don't sub, I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.